Will a vegan diet reduce the burden on the environment? Accepted consider that plant foods require fewer hectares for feeding one person. And not only hectares, cattle breeding farms in huge amounts of water consumption and produce a lot of greenhouse gases. Animal husbandry, of course, requires them much more than crop production, especially what is based on grazing, not stall fattening. On average, 0.37 hectares of pasture are required per kilogram of beef per year, the same as for growing a ton or two of grain. Carbon dioxide in the production of a kilogram of such meat is emitted 1.05 tons. A resident of America eats 120 kilograms of meat per year, poorer Slovenia, 88 kilograms and even in Russia, 75 kilograms, that is, in total, the figures are very large. Meat and milk provides only 18% of calories and 37% of the protein consumed by mankind, but at the same time occupy 83% of all agricultural land and provide 58% of total CO2 emissions, generated by agriculture. The first thing that follows understand that there is no shortage of food on earth, as well as agricultural land. Production food is growing faster all the time population despite the fact that the area used land increases moderately. In these places, meat, like oil or gas in Russia, one of a few local products, competitive in the world market. If meat consumption in the world will cease, Brazil or Indonesia will not cut down less jungle, they'll just expand its already huge plantations for production of biofuels. Animal food to reduce the load on the environment? If we we talk about animal food, then in reality from one hectare it cannot be obtained less than human-friendly plant. And from a hectare of a fish breeding plant 40 years ago they were able to extract 1.5 to 2.0 thousand tons, up to 20 thousand quintals, per hectare. Similar efficiency has cultivation shellfish, 98.5 quintals per hectare per year for green mussels, also a lot more, than can you get wheat from a unit square important moment, a person eats fish faster, than most species of plant food. So, one hectare of aquaculture can feed a lot more people, than one hectare of arable land. Why fish factories are so more productive than land cattle breeding is easy to understand. Fish, crustaceans and mollusks are cold-blooded, that is, they spend 5 to 10 times less energy, because they do not need to constantly warm themselves up. Moreover, the production of algae by the same aquaculture is much more efficient than by land crop production, the former spend much less energy on transporting nutrients and protecting against fluctuations in the brightness of the sun. Why with such a huge efficiency of aquatic animal husbandry fighters against the terrible and terrible global warming is not promoting it, but taking more space away from the surrounding Wednesday vegan diet? However, there is some rationality behind the position of vegans, meat production creates more greenhouse gas emissions than growing plant foods. Even fish, and in aquaculture, too, require decent CO2 emissions, 2.2 to 2.5 kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilo. True, fish quickly satisfies hunger, vegans can eat the mentioned fruits and berries for 3.5 to 4.0 kilograms per day. So subtotal, with reasonable growing animal food, and not insects, and the most common fish and seafood, can be taken away from nature as much, if not less, land, than if you're vegan. Moreover, if correctly to choose the types of food eaten fish, then CO2 emissions at the same time you have will be similar to those who eat only plants.